Hi, book friends. This book is called Baby Loves Paleontology. Can you try your best and repeat that word? Paleontology. Wow, that's a long one. Well, let's open the book and find out what paleontology is. Let's begin. Baby loves to dig. Maybe she'll find something special deep down in the ground, like a fossil. Wouldn't that be fun? A fossil is something left behind by an animal, plant, or other living thing from long ago. An imprint of an ancient leaf, like this one. Footprints from prehistoric animals, like this one here. Or even bones or teeth that have been preserved, like this right here. You see the bones and the teeth? It's a saber-toothed cat fossil. A saber-toothed cat. Wow, look at baby. In such surprise at the size of those teeth. How cool. Fossils can form in different ways. Sometimes an animal steps in wet sand, leaving a footprint, like here. This animal left a footprint on the sand. The sand is buried by layers of earth called sediment. Do you see the layers in different colors? That's called sediment. And there goes the footprint down below. Over time, the sand turns to rock, preserving the footprint. This is a fossil. Ah, now I know. Sometimes when an animal dies and decomposes, only its skeleton remains. So there goes the animal dying near the water. The skeleton may get buried. So it's going deeper and deeper into the sediment, right? We learned what those layers are. Sediment. Do you see the bones now? Groundwater seeps in. Minerals in the water fill in the hollow spaces in the bones. So when it reaches all the way down there, the water comes through and the water has minerals and it fills in the spaces in between the bones. Now the bones are as hard as rock. They are another kind of fossil. So there goes the fossil now deep down under. Someone needs to dig it out. Maybe a paleontologist. Paleontologists are scientists who study the history of life using fossils. They dig the fossils out of rock with special tools. Hmm, baby thinks that sounds like fun. Maybe she'll find a hidden fossil too. <gasps> Do you see what's under there? Oh, I think baby is onto something here. And she has a shovel. And there's also a brush to clean them. Yes, those are the tools. Fossils can be small, like the size of your small hand. Like this insect preserved in amber. A seashell. An ammonite. Teeth and even tiny little seahorse skeletons. Yes, very, very small. They can fit in your hand. And even poop. What? Poop is a type of fossil. Who knew? Or very big fossils. The biggest fossils come from the T-Rex femur. 
This is a femur. Do you know where the femur is in your body? Hmm. The femur is starts at your hip and ends at your knee. So it is a very big bone. The biggest bone in our body, the femur. And this one belonged to the T-Rex from long, long ago. And it is very big. Dinosaurs. Some dinosaurs lived millions of years ago. That's a long time ago. We know what they look like from the fossils they left behind. Other dinosaurs are still alive today. Birds are dinosaurs too. <gasps> Did you know that? Wow, birds are dinosaurs. So next time you see a birdie, you can say, hello dinosaur. <laughs> Long ago, Dinosaurs came in all sizes and shapes. Some had long necks, big sharp teeth, or powerful tails. Some had horns, like the Triceratops. You see the horns there? And the Ankylosaurus has horns. That's right. Tough body armor. Like the Stegosaurus, look at that, that's body armor. So if another dinosaur got close to it, oh, it used its body armor to protect itself. And the Ankylosaurus has body armor too. And so does the Triceratops on that crest. You see, right there? And maybe the Diplodocus, maybe that's armor there. Hmm, and some dinosaurs, had feathers, like this one here. And that's an Archeo... Archeoteryx. Wow, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And look, that's the true size right there. Do you see it on top of the head? It was tiny compared to this Diplodocus. Yeah, because that's a big dinosaur. And there goes baby. Oh, so, so tiny. So small compared to all the big dinosaurs from long ago. So many different dinosaurs. There were so many dinosaurs and paleontologists are still discovering more. That's how it used to look long, long, long ago. Lots of water and plants and volcanoes. Oh, we still have all that, don't we? Including the volcanoes. And we still have dinosaurs, right? We learned that birdies are dinosaurs. We might not have the big ones, but we still have the birdies. Baby loves paleontology. <gasps> you know what, now that I've read this book, I love paleontology too, just like Baby. And it looks like Baby is at a museum. Yes, you can go to a museum. Some museums have dinosaur bones displayed like this one. That's right. That's what remains. And that's the end of Baby Loves Paleontology. Oh, let's clap. Yay! I learned so much from this book. Did you? I learned that birds are dinosaurs. And I learned what a paleontologist is. It's a scientist that digs and finds fossils and learns about those animals. That's right. It kind of makes me want to go out and dig in the sand. Maybe I'll find a fossil. Hmm, sounds like a good idea. Well, until next time, bye book friends.